Welcome back to A Community of Learning. It's almost Halloween and there's a lot of spooky stuff headed our way. Now that's a lot of fun, but if you have young children, sometimes you want to have some limits on the level of creepiness out there. Boo at the Zoo at the Cleveland Metro Parks is a neighborhood of safe Halloween entertainment designed for a younger audience. Happy haunts at the Boo at the Zoo include the Creepy Crawly Critter Animal Show, the Monster Mash Dance Party, the Not-So-Haunted Greenhouse, the Jack-O-Lantern Express Train Ride, and the Halloween Hay Maze. Here to tell us about all of these spooktacular fun, sorry, I had to say that, <laughs> and much more is the Senior Education Specialist at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Please welcome Jim Nemeth. Good to have you Thanks here. for inviting us. Now, we've got all kinds of great guests here, not just Jim. <laughs> this is Rio. Yes. And she, how old is Rio? She is two years old. Oh, she is She so is a pretty. Virginia possum who uh, came to us as a very young animal. And uh, this is one of the animals that participates in our Halloween uh, Boo at the Zoo shows down at the amphitheater. And uh, a lot of people think, oh, possum's kind of creepy. But what they don't know is that the possum is the only marsupial or animal with a pouch right. in North America. So, and look at that face. You know, I had to say, when, when I came in today and they told me, oh, there's animals, I went, okay, who didn't tell me that? She is a love. She Look is. She is. I mean, she's an animal that's a scavenger, so she'd be found out at night around our neighborhoods, mm -hmm. but uh, she lives right in her own backyard Which here. Which makes her perfect for yeah, Boo at the Zoo. Exactly. Now, talk a little bit about Boo at the Zoo for those of you that don't know what Boo at the Zoo is. It's perfect for what age groups? It, it's say? perfect for all age groups, oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but for the youngsters, um, you know, we say like four to nine, four to ten. Um, it is... Uh, it's spooky, not scary. So we're out there and, and we will have costumes that are, you know, sometimes Frankenstein or werewolves or things like that, mm -hmm. but nothing that's super scary. So when the kids are walking around, they get to see animals like this that people maybe think like snakes. Oh, they think they're scary, but they're not. No, so no, the they're targets, scary. they're not scary. They're not scary at all. I didn't bring a snake oh, today, thank though. Thank you, but it, it gets worse. No, wait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if I wanted to get tickets for this, I should probably go on your website. You right? can go You can go either to the box office. Uh, the tickets are on sale now for all eight days. You need to purchase for the specific day you want to go oh, because okay. we need to know exactly how many people are coming so we can get treat bags ready and have our uh, guest plan. services. We yeah. try to plan. So um, once you pick a day, you can either go to the zoo box office and purchase there or you can go online you can go to the zoo's website and it'll put you a direct link right to uh, purchasing tickets okay we'll get you that website address in just a second that would here. be great so we know that we're going to see rio when mm -hmm. we come on down there yep. what other oh am i boring you <laughs> little yawn there, there you go morning? she's okay no, you're awake at night mostly i don't blame you all right what other animals do we have well uh, in the zoo well in here screech owl with us but at the it's zoo yeah at the zoo um a lot of the animals are out during the at the zoo event so even though it's after dark some of the animals need to go in and be secured for the, the nighttime but right. uh, some of the animals the tigers the polar bears the animals who are really comfortable outside um, they can come outside as well that's a great time <laughs> thank you for coming here Rio we really do appreciate your time yeah she's, she's I'm out of here yeah she's Good ready to go done. I need my break all right so we have a screech owl mm -hmm. next and um, I was shocked at how tiny, where do you see this, at how tiny this little girl is. Oh. She'll hop right up there. Mm. Take it to the home with me. <laughs> <laughs> This is an eastern screech owl, once again, an animal that comes out at night. be found right here in our own backyard. And you told me her name is Otis. Otis, because of the scientific name. What we try to do is when we name our animals at the zoo, we try to pick something that helps us to remember to teach about. So, for instance, the Rio, the possum, mm -hmm. she only lives north of the Rio Grande. It's a, a possum that would only be found north of the Rio Grande, so we named her Rio, which helps us kind of remember her um, where she would live. For Otis, uh, the, the screech owl, Otis, is part of the scientific name, so it just helps us. Beginning to see where the education is. There you go. That's it. Now, I'm going to see Otis, and I'm going to see Rio if I come to Boo at the Zoo, but right. I can also come overnight, right? I can also come in as an overnight camper. You can indeed. I've never heard of that before. Really? Oh, no, we, do it, we do it all year long. Uh, and for Boo at the Zoo, People want to stay, the hours run from 6 to 9, so people want to stay past 9 o'clock. Not on the nights of Boo at the Zoo, but other nights we have our campers 
come in and we do overnights based on the season as to what location they do. Into the zoo at seven o'clock in the evening, mm -hmm. and then they have activities through the night. They sleep at the zoo, and then we have a continental breakfast in the morning, more activities in the morning, and then they depart the zoo about eleven o'clock the next morning. Where do they stay? Uh, it depends on the season. We have three different programs that we're running in the summer months, which we are doing our last one this weekend. It is called uh, Rising Water Safari Camp, and they sleep in tents that are right okay. near the uh, new veterinary hospital that we built. So there are outdoor tents, we have a fire pit and a dining shelter and everything. Through the winter months, we uh, will stay in the wolf cabin. So oh, you'll bring cool. you'll bring your toothbrush, a sleeping bag, and a pillow, and we'll supply uh, sleeping mats. You sleep right on the floor of the wolf cabin, and we do North American. We do tracking of animals and different things. It's set up for scout groups and churches and a variety of different groups that can come in and stay with us. And we do some family nights, so it doesn't always have to be a group. But you come and sleep there. And then in the shoulder seasons, the spring and the fall, we do Outback After Dark, which you would sleep in the Rheinberger Homestead oh, in Australian Adventure. Very cool. Now I can look all this up on the website. All of it's on the internet. And yeah, on the what website. Is the website. The is website is cle c l e met m e t zoo dot com. So you just take the first three letters of Cleveland Metro Park Zoo and put them all together. And if you type in Cleveland Zoo or Cleveland Metro Park, yeah, it will get it. you to it. But there's all kinds of in, uh, interesting animal information, all of our education programs, and a lot of our special events so that are going on. You guys do an outstanding job. Thank now, you. I understand you brought one more animal. I did. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> and look at, no, I have to stay here. But no, it's can not. We have it's this next not guest on with, too bad. With Otis? Yeah, She's no problem. Gonna, no, uh, no know, problem at all. Here's the sure. snack oh actually it's just a paper towel there oh, that and Otis. check it out it's uh, yeah Otis is leaving us presents yeah. and this is a Madagascar hissing <laughs> cockroach and uh, once again creepy crawly right. once oh. you get past the whole <laughs> idea that it's an insect it's a really cool animal yeah. um, it's from Madagascar so it's not like the cockroaches that we have it doesn't fly but when it's startled it just squeezes some air out of some holes in the side of its abdomen which causes it to hiss so it's not actually oh. hissing out of its mouth it's kind of contracting its abdominal muscles and causing the hiss to come out. That's fabulous. So one of those animals, creepy crawly critter. Is that something that other kids can hold when they come? We can. We, we, yeah. we do have uh, not very many of our animals, like the screech owl and the possum, do we let people hold, but you can actually hold a cockroach. You can actually well, hold a cockroach. Well, someone who would like to can actually hold the cockroach. Um, boo at the zoo, when my kids were a little bit younger, mm -hmm. The big thing about Boo at the Zoo was get your tickets, get your tickets, get your Correct. tickets. Correct. Okay. Um, nothing sold out as of right Not yet, yet, but the Saturdays are going really fast. Saturdays It'll go fast. Saturday nights, then Friday nights, then the okay. Sunday nights, then Thursday nights. So cleanmetzoo.com is you got where it. I want to go. I want to let them know the night that I'm planning on bringing my family for Boo at the That's Zoo. That's correct. And then any of the overnight camper activities also cleanmetzoo.com. That's correct. Perfect. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank Jim you. Nevis, Senior Education Specialist with the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. We appreciate you being our guest today. Thanks again to all our guests and thank you for watching A Community of Learning. Our show airs every day, Monday through Saturday at 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 p.m. Please join us next week when we will talk to more fascinating people and learn how they continue to inspire excellence in our community and our school district. Now, if you like the show, please tell your friends and remember, the spirit of volunteerism is the spirit of our community, our schools, and of America. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you.